boy makes a heartbreaking request regarding kittens found in field. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Nobody can resist kittens. It's just a fact of life. When soft, sweet kitties strut into the room, people stop what they're doing to gawk and drool, even at a sporting event. And that's exactly what happened at a baseball game in the Bronx, New York. No, not the Yankees, when a fresh litter was spotted in the outfield. Soon, home runs and RBIs took a back seat to meows and whiskers, especially as one cat started acting very strangely around one onlooker's son. Malia, a proud New Yorker, was watching her son's baseball game at the Bronx Co-op City Field on an August 2019 day. It was there she and her son first spotted the box that would change their lives. She sat in the bleachers rooting for her son's team until she heard a ruckus coming from the crowd. Suddenly, a massive amount of people stopped paying attention to the game. What was going on? Just like the other curious onlookers, Malia went to investigate. It turned out there was an abandoned litter of kittens in the field, covered in filth and lacking in nutrition. There was no sign of a mother cat around. Someone needed to help them. Malia decided to step in and call her friend, Sunny, a diligent animal rescuer, to ask if she was up for the challenge. Sunny didn't hesitate to assist, asking Malia to transport the frightened litter to her home ASAP. She and her husband rushed the little ones over to me. My son, CJ Sung, and I took them in and bathed and bottle-fed all of them, Sunny explained to Love Meow. It was her mission to nurse them back to health. It was kind of her thing. They were only three weeks old and very fragile. The little kittens were practically skin and bone when Malia dropped them off but Sunny was determined to give them round-the-clock supervision and assistance. In just a day, Sunny noticed a drastic difference in their demeanor. They were looking a bit perkier, not to mention healthier. Sunny and her son CJ were beyond relieved as kittens under four weeks old are not always able to survive without their mother, and one particular kitten stood out from the litter. The gentle tortoiseshell kitten, whom they named Chimera, wasn't afraid to cuddle up to CJ. They named her Chimera after her half-brown, half-orange face. But if anyone tried to remove her from CJ's arms, she'd throw a fit. Chimera automatically took to CJ and would hiss at me and my older son, even though I was the bottle feeder, Sunny stated. They were all stunned by the kitten's odd yet endearing behavior. She just felt a special bond with CJ for whatever reason. Sunny originally intended to foster the kittens until they were healthy enough to be adopted by other families. But Chimera changed those plans. They couldn't imagine letting her go. Chimera was special. Though Sunny wasn't looking for her pet, he couldn't say no to his son. The moment he saw her, he said, I like her, she's my kitty. He fell in love with her and begged me to keep her, Sunny detailed. As the days and weeks went by, the kittens started coming into their own. They were more playful and their personalities started to blossom, and while Chimera's siblings loved to play together, chasing each other and wrestling over pieces of string, she was still a bit different. Unlike her brothers and sisters, Chimera would turn down playtime to get some human attention, especially from CJ. The duo just fell in love with each other, but the little torty kitten wasn't exactly a saint. She was just the standout for a slew of reasons. Chimera was the first kitten of the group to journey out of the playpen, clearly seeking out adventure and new territories. She turned out to be a little troublemaker. Considering CJ became Chimera's adoptive mother of sorts, it was his job to train her to behave. And after being reprimanded, Chimera would simply melt into CJ's arms. Who could resist those eyes? She's a troublemaker and likes to get herself into places that she should not. She's really smart and knows whom to run to when she gets into trouble, said Sunny. Soon, Sunny had more news about her little kittens. Every day, the kittens got bigger and healthier, looking drastically different from the sad, decrepit litter they were back in August. Once the kittens became of age, Chimera's siblings were adopted, and she stayed here with us, Sunny said. As she grew up, Chimera proved herself to be a real hellcat but would easily flip a switch and be on her best behavior when CJ appeared. She acts like a perfect angel when he's home, 
Sonny hilariously described. And after a year of living with Sonny and CJ, Chimera really grew to be a wonderful, fluffy, confident cat. Perhaps her and CJ were just meant to be together. He is her best friend. She definitely chose him, Sonny said. Still, the family was intrigued by Chimera's off-and-on behavior. Why, they wanted to know, was their cat such a delightful oddball? Luckily, they could look to a recent study on cats' most confusing behaviors for answers. While the family may have thought Chimera, who was hissing for no reason, was an arrogant rascal, the little ball of fur may actually be seeing those around her as a special partner. See, kitties are just full of surprises and hairballs. It all comes down to social cognition, which has been studied regarding dogs for decades. Now we know dogs are gentle social butterflies that this cruel world absolutely does not deserve. But the social cognition of cats has been neglected by the scientific community. Since human babies, puppies, and baby monkeys have all shown signs of being securely or insecurely attached to their parents or guardians after a short period of separation, it got scientists thinking about how kittens would act in this type of situation. Would separation anxiety plague little kittens? Well, behavior studies would soon prove or reject the idea that cats could form secure bonds with their caregivers. Scientists at Oregon State University were on the case. Just like dogs, cats have been witnessed living in harmonious social groupings, but that all depends on factors such as early developmental occurrences, resource distribution, and social interaction experiences, according to scientific journal Current Biology. In their study, those brainy scientists put kittens in their own rooms with only a human caregiver to keep each one company. They spent exactly two minutes getting to know each other. The kittens were undoubtedly curious about their new surroundings. Said caregiver would then get up and exit the room for exactly two minutes, leaving the kitten alone. Those two minutes would give the new friends space to breathe and decompress from their introduction. Surely enough, two minutes later, the caregiver would return to the room to greet the kitty once again. Their behavior during the reunion would be telling of their level of bonding. This process is called a secure base test. The findings of the study were published in the scientific journal Cell Press, and the results may surprise you. There's much to know about felines that probably escaped your mind. They are complex beings. Like dogs, cats display social flexibility in regard to their attachments with humans. Kristen Vitali, study author and researcher at Oregon State University's Human-Animal Interaction Lab, explained of cats' behavioral habits. But not all cats have the same attachment style. It turned out that 65% of cats are securely bonded with their owners. The findings show that the relationship continues to be constant in adulthood. The little kittens don't typically outgrow their connection. We found that the attachment bond cats display toward their owners is very similar to the bond dogs share with their owners and even the bond human infants display toward their caretakers, Kristen disclosed, and we thought they were so different. On the other hand, some cats form insecure bonds with their owners. The insecurely attached cats showed signs of stress which involved twitching tails, licking lips, and avoiding their owners at all cost. Somehow, we relate. Believe it or not, the felines that leaped into their owner's lap, refusing to move, were also considered to be insecurely attached. This kind of behavior is an indicator of ambivalence. While they seemed mushy, there was a sense of crippling uncertainty. Cats that are insecure seem to act aloof. There's long been a biased way of thinking that all cats behave this way, but the majority of cats use their owners as a source of security, Kristen said. Even the kittens that went through a six-week socialization training course did not deviate from their bond with their master. Some bonds are just unbreakable by nature. Kristen even said that cats actually depend on their owners to help them when they feel stressed out. This whole time, you've likely been thinking that good old Sprinkles only required sustenance, but in reality, Sprinkles needs you for much more than that. We're currently looking at several aspects of cat attachment behavior, including whether socialization and fostering opportunities impact attachment security in shelter cats, Kristen relayed regarding future studies. We know it sounds bananas, but based on Kristen Vitali's findings, your cat loves you more than you know. They may show their affection and gratitude for you in odd ways, 
but they're not as antisocial and cold as you think. Kristen Vitale's secure base test findings only prove the unexpected emotional intelligence of your sassy furry friends. You may think you have your feline figured out now, but there are plenty of surprises lurking behind those mysterious golden cat eyes. We're sure you've been perplexed by your cat's uber-flexible body, and well, it's no illusion, they actually have 53 vertebrae on their spines, while a human only has a measly 34. So stop trying to best your kitten during yoga, they've got you beat by 19 vertebrae. If cat versus dog intelligence has ever been debated, consider it resolved. Cats have 300 million neurons in their brains, while dogs have just 160 million. In fact, a cat's brain is considered to be extremely similar to a human's brain. So expect a feline uprising any day now. Since whiskers detect distances and movements by the air's vibration, they're actually crucial to a cat's survival in the outdoors. So don't be too scared if your cat runs off. They have survival tools built right into their bodies. What's the deal with cats and catnip? Cats naturally have the scent of catnip binded to their nasal passages. So when they get a whiff of the herb, it stimulates the sensory receptors in their brains and makes them act a little lovey-dovey. It's no secret that cats spend a majority of the day sleeping. We're actually pretty jealous of how long a cat can sleep for, which is at least 12 to 16 hours a day. Cats just don't know how lucky they are. Did you know that cats have dominant paws? Females are more likely to use their right paws while males usually prefer their left. No word yet on if the whole right brain left brain thing exists with cats. The rumors are true, cats can change color. Well, maybe not in the way you're thinking. Siamese cats have a gene modifier that technically makes them albino, but when they're introduced to high temperatures, portions of their fur turn gray or even black. If you want your cat to stop leaping onto the kitchen table, try spraying them with lemon water. Cats are picky eaters and are especially sensitive to bitter and citrusy flavors. So they'll quickly learn to avoid the lemony spray. The next time your partner scolds you for taking too long in the shower, bring up this fact. Cats spend 30 to 50% of the day cleaning their bodies. Much like us with showering, grooming improves a cat's circulation and prevents any unseemly odors. A purring cat can be totally soothing when you're in a bad mood, but the sound has other surprising healing properties as well. Purring can be restorative to a cat's health, and it even helps heal problems with bones and tissues. Be careful when considering a major lifestyle change with your cat. Studies have shown that something as simple as a change in routine can negatively impact a cat's immune system and make it sick. Even a healthy cat can be affected. Cats really do have nine lives, and it's thanks to their interesting bodies. Cats have a straightening reflex, meaning that some of the tiny balancing organs in their ears help tell a cat when they'll hit the ground and how to land on their feet. At night, cats often choose to sleep in spots that are high up and hidden in an effort to remain unseen by potential predators. This is just more proof that modern-day cats are not so different from cats in ancient times. We all know that people can be allergic to cats, but did you know that some cats can be allergic to people? It's estimated that approximately 1 in 200 cats suffers from asthma caused by dusty and unkempt living conditions. Luckily, cat inhalers exist. If you've stepped on your cat's tail, the high-pitched shriek and bared fangs you get in return is exactly what you'd see in a stray. A cat's DNA never changes, so when threatened, they revert right back to the wild ways of their ancestors. Humans are unique in how we all have different fingerprints, and the same can be said for cats, sort of. Believe it or not, the surefire identifier for a cat is actually its nose. Who knew those little noses were so complex? It may sound like the only thing your cat does is meow and purr, but felines can actually produce about 100 sounds. This certainly furthers the cats are smarter than dogs argument, considering how dogs only produce about 10 sounds. Cats need seven times less sight than humans to see, especially during the daylight hours. This explains why some cats naturally gravitate towards dimly lit rooms or closets. It's also why they're more energetic at night. They simply see things easier. There's another reason cats are so bendy, and it's not because they've been exercising. Felines are born without clavicles, which means they don't have to worry about bulky bones 
impeding their movements. This makes them experts when it comes to slinking through narrow passages. If your cats aren't BFFs, there's a reason why. Cats develop a secret language with humans, a language they do not share with any other cat living in the same space. This means no cuddling and no mingling. They're basically just acquaintances. Plenty of cats share their living spaces with a dog, too, because there's a lot of overlap with cat and dog people. That's why even feline aficionados are brushing up on these wild dog facts. The word puppy is a relatively new addition to the English language, a variation on the French word poupi, meaning doll or toy, it caught on in the late 1500s. Before that, Britons referred to baby dogs by the not-so-catchy term, whelps. Puppies sleep a ton, sometimes up to 20 hours per day. And for good reason, rest is essential for their developing body and mind. Even when they reach maturity, dogs catch quite a few Zs each day, usually between 12 and 14 hours. Just like humans, young dogs have baby teeth that fall out and eventually get replaced by an adult set. However, there is still no evidence that any kind of dog tooth fairy exists. Depending on the breed, dogs can have vastly different size litters. Bigger canines usually have bigger litters. As a rule of thumb, a Neapolitan Mastiff owns the current record for giving birth to 24 puppies in 2011. Can dogs inspire great works of art? Hamilton composer and star Lin-Manuel Miranda would certainly say so. His stage ballad, Dear Theodosia, started out as an ode to his dog, Tobio, a stray pup he adopted in 2011. If you've ever met a newborn puppy, you'll notice that their eyes and ears don't open for a couple of weeks. This is because compared to other mammals, gestation periods for dogs are pretty short. As a result, puppies are born not quite fully developed. Rolling Stone's guitar hero Keith Richards smuggled a number of things past customs. Cough, cough. But his cutest contraband was a puppy. After sneaking it past British authorities, he named the pooch Ratbag and treated him to a rock and roll lifestyle. Sure, your dog is friendly, but have you ever worried that they'd like any old stranger just as much as you? One 2005 study will put your mind at ease. Researchers observed that canines are most responsive to their owners, proving there is a definite bond. Sports teams aren't the only ones with dog mascots. The Spanish city of Bilbao is synonymous with West Highland Terriers, thanks to Puppy, a gigantic sculpture outside the Guggenheim Museum. The statue weighs 17 tons and is covered in living flowers. Just like in humans, yawns are contagious among mature dogs, probably as an embedded form of social empathy. Curiously enough, this isn't the case for puppies. They are underdeveloped enough to not react to their owner's yawns at all. For famed novelist John Steinbeck, a dog really did eat his homework. In 1936, his teething puppy tore apart his lone manuscript for Of Mice and Men. The frustrated author had to rewrite those chapters, much to the delight or chagrin of students everywhere. Even though puppies from the same litter are similar, it's extremely rare to find identical twin canines. The first confirmed case didn't come until 2016, when a South African veterinarian determined two pups were genetically identical from sharing the same placenta. But twin puppies aren't the only genetic canine copies out there. Scientists successfully cloned the first dog in 2005, and that practice has expanded into a niche industry of cloning families' beloved pets for the hefty price of $50,000. It's no coincidence that dogs seem sadder whenever you're eating. They've evolutionarily adapted to raise their eyebrows and make their eyes bigger to improve their chances of guilting humans into tossing a scrap of food their way. Seeing eye dogs aren't the only employed pooches out there. Boston's Museum of Fine Arts has trained a puppy named Riley to sniff out species of moths and beetles that destroy priceless artwork. Attention Dalmatian owners, don't freak out when your puppies are born without any of the trademark spots. Those only start to pop up as the breed gets older. And Dalmatian puppies aren't the only ones who've surprised owners with their coats. In 2017, several dogs in the UK made headlines for giving birth to green puppies. Was this a rare mutation? Were the pups celebrating St. Patrick's Day? No, it turns out that their fur was temporarily dyed by biliverdin, a pigment naturally found in dog placentas. 
Don't freak out if your boss catches you scrolling through dog photos at work. A 2012 study concluded that looking at pictures of cute animals can actually help you concentrate afterward. If there was one warm and fuzzy result of the Cold War, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev knew that President John F. Kennedy was curious about Strelka, the Russian dog that went into space. As a gift, he sent JFK one of Strelka's puppies. The Kennedys named her Pushinka, after the Russian word for fluffy. JFK's one-time political rival, Richard Nixon, also had a historical puppy moment. While running for vice president in 1952, Tricky Dick came under fire for using campaign contributions for personal use. He denied these claims in a televised speech and said that the only gift he accepted was their family dog, Checkers. Dogs don't curl up while sleeping just to look cute or even to feel more comfortable. This tendency is actually rooted in their instincts to protect their vital organs at night and to stay warm, of course. Some recent studies have found that dogs usually try to go to the bathroom in such a way that they are aligned with the Earth's magnetic field. Both sexes defecate in the north or south direction, but only females prefer to urinate that way too. The idea that dogs only see in black and white is a total myth. They can actually perceive a wide range of colors, although it's more limited than the spectrum that 